Raglan is a top surf spot and probably the most popular and well-known surf spot of New Zealand. So that is what we are doing today. We are going to ride the waves until the sun sets. It is going to be gorgeous. But first thing first, we hang out in Raglan Backpackers. It's a really awesome hostel. Like it's really worth mentioning because there's so much going on there. And you can tell that the lady who owns the hostel, Suze, she's been traveling like all over the world herself. And every little thing that she's picked up, like all those things that people want when they're living in hostels, she has put them in to the hostel. For instance, there's like a whole bunch of guitars. There's a baking box. You can go in the sauna, you can go in the spa pool. There's like a whole back shelf in the living area with books and board games if people are keen you know you can all get together and do like yoga or movie nights or pizza night i pretty much love everything about this hostel i'm a bit obsessed with it and they even have hammocks like around the garden area and you can just lie in the hammocks yeah anyway i'm gonna start bumming over raglan backpackers and move on what uh, happens when you learn surfing at the Raglan Surf School that you do the first about 20 minutes uh, in the shed. This is where we meet our surf instructor for the day, Bing, he's called, he's from the US. So yeah, this is, this is like some no-nonsense theory right here. We are going to learn some shit today. So next we need to get ourselves some wetsuits and go to the beach. Today we are getting some bigger and thicker surfboard than usual because we are beginners. So really thick surfboard, very long, so they're much more stable on the water and it will make it for a much more pleasurable experience, which means that we may be able to stand one or twice on the board. The moment we've all been waiting for, time to hit the waves. Robin was the first one in the waves and yeah he stands up he amazingly stands up first time because I wasn't expecting much from Robin uh, as bad as that is but he yeah he stood up like he did pretty well going surfing riding some white water I just enjoy it. It's like simple fun. And every time you actually stand on the board, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm doing it. Bing helps me with the first wave, like just helps like, you know, make sure I'm steady on the board for the first wave I'm about to attempt to stand up on. And I do it. I stand up first time and this is a good feeling. I'm just going wave after wave. When I say ride the waves, I mean ride all the shitty little white water things. How does my hair look? Everybody is having a blast. Bing is on the ball. Every single time he sees us uh, like gliding, you know, he's like giving you a bit of a yeah, bro, yeah, woohoo, woohoo. You know, it's kind of like it's a bit of a feel good because you know, you know, you're doing pretty shit, so you get someone that cheers you up. So that's always cool.
I can see like the, the amazing sunset that's going down across the waves right in front of us and like beams of light. It's a really like bright sunset and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Midway through the surf lesson, I get really exhausted. And I'm like carrying the massive, like the beginner boards down the beach every time. Like, you know, you, you go out, surf, you end up further down here and you have to walk back up, go back out, surf, and like do this process over and over again. And I'm getting like pretty tired at this point. I spy with my little eye on the corner over there, Laura nailing it. She's jumping in the water, she's having a blast, she's laughing so much. She jumping on the board, she's gliding. She jump on the board again, she's gliding. She jump on the board again, she's gliding. It's ridiculous. She's like nailing one wave after the other while I'm just struggling so much. It's ridiculous. Um, being hard to take me a couple of times and just kind of like, you know, place me properly and then push me. It does that to Laura maybe one or twice, but almost none. She was just a natural. Bing saying like, these are the last two waves you guys have. You gotta make the last sort of waves really count. So the sun slowly goes down and we are treated to a gorgeous sunset. I mean, amazing. And it was just mind blowing. And uh, yeah, but honestly, we are naked now. So yeah, I surfed the white white water. No, no barrels today. Usually I surf barrels, but okay. <laughs> didn't want to show everyone else. Obviously. While we're in the changing rooms, we're all like talking about it. Like, oh my god, did you see me do this? Did you see me do that? And yeah, it was, it was like we're all pretty pumped afterwards. We need to get some sleep tonight because. We are waking up really early tomorrow. We are going to get the van fixed, hopefully fixed once and for all. Get this rust hole, like put some metal over this rust hole or whatever they need to do. And that's in Hamilton. And we need to get there for like eight o'clock. So we need to get up, drive to Hamilton from Raglan and we'll see what happens from there. See you tomorrow.